Hello, everybody. Welcome back to changes that should not have made it into the game. Part three. We have the patch notes and Bastet. One second, I have to sneeze. And Bastet. Okay, so now, uh, let's see, where is she? Bastet, her three, listen up, fellas, is now AoE. And it procs 50% damage from your item effects. And so they reduced the cat, the health on the three from three to two, but they also made the cat completely immune and CC immune, which means you can't Ularax it. You can't throw out another cat to stop it. They just like lube past each other now. Um, you can't like, like Ymir freeze it and save it from your teammate. It's CC immune until it hits an enemy or it hits its max distance. Um, but it's also damage immune. So like normally it had three health before, but you could like auto attack it right when it was coming towards your face. And then you could have a second auto like on the way before it hits you. So really it only have two health. Uh, now it actually has two health and you can only hit it after it's hit you, which is fucking stupid. Uh, and it's AOE, obviously. It roots and damages all enemies in a 10-unit radius around it. Um, but on top of that, obviously, other than being like... Other than being damage immune on its on its uh, travel time, being AoE, and not only damaging everyone in that 10 units, but also CCing everyone in that 10 units, uh, now it procs item effects as well. So her three got... Four buffs to it, if you count them out like I just did. Not to mention, not even to mention the fact that there's a, now an ability or there's an item for ability-based warriors or hunters or assassins or whatever. Anyone that's ability-based, they now have a new item called duality. Uh, boom, here. So every five seconds... Your next basic attack has its damage, half of it taken away and converted into physical ability damage. Now, what that does, you might be thinking, oh, so realistically, it doesn't do anything. It just changes your auto attack damage into ability damage. But that ability damage triggers item effects that also trigger off of abilities. You see where I'm going here? Duality every five seconds means I can throw out my, my cat, which is AoE. Uh, jump on them, slap them in the ass to do triple Heartseeker procs, um, and then, like, go on my merry way and hop back away like nothing even happened. It's the most absurd shit, uh, and it's honestly amazing. <laughs> now, if you hate Bastet, like I do, you'll only find enjoyment when you play as Bastet and not when you play against her, but, uh, yeah, she's definitely very strong. She was already, like, played and banned in Conquest before this buff. So the fact that she's been buffed, I'm pretty sure it just means that, uh, like, I don't know, what are you gonna do? Fuck, boop. All right. I'm okay with this. Oh, wrong button. All right, I got my Jotuns now. Oh no, I don't. You saw. Oh, also, Jotuns got increased by fifty gold. Forgot to mention that it did happen. It is. It is a hundred gold more expensive now, not fifty. So instead of tier three being seven fifty, it is now eight fifty, as you've seen. <clears throat> should I? Should I chuck the lubed up cat at him? The CC immune, damage immune cat. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. Oh, also, Transcendence got nerfed. So he's building Transcendence here. Uh, Transcendence got a 100 gold increase on the pricing. So let me see. Ouch. Um. Hold on, I will find it. I promise you. Give me a second. Uh. No, I won't. Oh, oh there it is. Uh, hunt, they got, oh, it actually didn't get a price change, but it got 
less mana and less mana per stack which obviously is a big fucking deal considering the damage of transcendence is from its mana um and getting five less mana per stack when it's a 50 stack item means you're getting 250 less mana and two percent of that is converted into power which is i mean if one percent of that is like 2.5 I guess it's only a five power nerf. Oh, but then it also got a base damage by 52. One. Eh. Actually, not that bad. It's definitely worse, but it's not as bad as I initially thought. I like how the cat, instead of being stunned there, just lubed up and slipped past his wall of death and terror. All right, you're going to ult. You didn't ult. Okay, now you're dead. Um... I'm just going to go item effects. I just want to see the item effects on the cat. And I want to go duality. So I need to go crusher. I need to go heart seeker. Um, I could go beat stick. I mean, beat stick. It's not an item effect I can see, but it is an item effect. I guess there's not that many item effects like bluestone crusher and heart seeker. And I can't get bluestone in duel, but, but I mean. Oh, hey, wait a second. I can three the blue buff and get the juice. Thank you. I can three the blue buff and still hit him with my cat. It actually might be worth leveling the cat over the one just for better poke now. Because it, it because it does proc item effects. So I definitely should have gone crusher, by the way, instead of Heartseeker second. But it's fine. I missed. <clears throat> I wonder if it only procs item effects if you hit them with it, or if it's like just the um, like the the cat's auto attack, the cat's little claw animation. I wonder if that also procs an item effect. Dude, isn't it so stupid that my cat is just so lubed? It literally just slips past the wall. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Oh, man. Oh, he slapped the shit out of my cap before I hit him. BM. Boop. Boop. Oh, my two is maxed. I got my heart seeker online. Uh, next item is probably crusher and then duality. So... I have five ways in my kit to proc item effects now. Because I have all four of my abilities deal damage. So all four of my abilities are doing Crusher and Heartseeker. Plus now my auto attacks. Dude, you can't even hide from the you can't even hide from the cat anymore. He was like hiding in the wave and I was like, eh, it doesn't matter. Hits everything in a 10 unit radius. Who cares? If you're even somewhat close to a minion, you're getting slapped by it. Sorry. That's just that I don't make the rules. I just abuse them. Yeah, my heart seeker procced five times there. Granted, it was only 56 damage because I have no power and he has no health. But it did proc. Ouch. Let's see how much my cat is doing. Not that much. It only did 8 damage because, again, Heartseeker is kind of useless if you have no power to use it, which is why I should have gone Crusher, which, you know, is also kind of useless if you have no power to use it. What if I just altered your ass? I missed. <clears throat> Alright, Crusher is 2,500. Right? Yeah. He's ulting. You think he sees me? He didn't. He didn't see me. I'm not going to leap because if I leap, he'll be able to see my leap because he can see me on the map by minions. And then he'll just do his blue for free. All right. <clears throat> Criminal, man. 
Criminal, dude. The AoE cat is actually so dumb. You can't hide from it anymore, man. Oop. All right, let's go get Crusher. Oop. I kind of just want this. It must be so hard to deal with the new cat because it's completely immune to damage. I mean, obviously, it's gonna it's gonna feel the same uh, like against Thor because obviously he didn't have ranged autos to begin with. But for a lot of people, like most characters in the game, it's gonna feel probably harder to deal with. Also, it's it's worth noting um, this duality is built off of Light Blade or Balanced Blade. It's not built off off of the Serrated Blade, so uh, any character can buy it, even hunters. It's not under the tree that's only like assassins and warriors and shit. I do want some more cooldown. I only have 20%. Look at that. Look at that. Extra 19 damage off my uh, my ability effects. Just because kitty cat. Oh, well played. Dude, the cat can almost full clear back line. And I only have three items. Yeah. This is insane. I mean, I'd say out of all the videos I've done of PTS, the Fafnir one and the new wall one, this definitely does feel the most tame so far, but I think it's going to scale exponentially. Like, I think it's going to outclass the others in terms of how broken it is because the build that abuses this is like a normal build, you know, like the Fafnir build and the new wall build, they were both kind of meme builds. Like it works. Alt me, I dare you. Um, it, it, it kind of works on those characters. But only because, <clears throat> only because like it's dual, so like, you kind of get the late game. <clears throat> this build works everywhere all the time. I've owned him, by the way. He's oh, he beats. Okay, well played. This build works all the time, and the the reason this build is more broken, in my opinion is, like I said, it's the build you're always going to be playing regardless. You know, you're always going to be going Heartseeker. You're always going to be going Jotuns. Always going to be going Crusher. If you're in Conquest, you're always going to be going Bluestone. And now, I'd say, honestly, duality is a staple in any kind of ability-based build. Fenrir, Tsukuyomi, Thanatos. Like, it doesn't really matter. After once every five seconds... Your next basic attack has half of its damage converted to the thing. So, like, I, it doesn't have an effect yet. You can see the cooldown in the bottom left there. And when it's off cooldown, that's when you know that it's it's working. But right now, if I, if I like, hit him with the three, I missed. But if I just auto him, you see the ability effects, right? Like, the Heart Seeker, the Crusher, Duality did 77. Like, those item effects happened because of my auto, not because of anything else. And you can just, you can see very clearly how, how busted this shit's going to be. I really expected him to do backwards. Oh, okay. Boop. Dude, look at that damage. Look at that. Look at that ability damage. Duality did 200. Heartseeker did 163. Crusher did 150. Because the, the damage you see, it's not only duality. Like, duality is not counting... Like, this number right here, this 204. It's not counting the item effects that it's proccing. It's counting simply the damage, you know? The damage that half of your auto attack did is what that duality number is. So then you add on like, I mean, shit, you get like a 
I kind of want to go Soul Eater here, but you get uh, Blue Stone, and you're you're Penta proccing Blue Stone, which does three hundred three hundred damage each proc, by the way. And then and then you're proccing Crusher, you're proccing Art Seeker, and you're proccing it off of fucking five things all at once. It's it gets pretty insane pretty quick. And I am here for it, man. I'm going Soul Eater because I want the sustainability, but I also want the cooldown. Blue buff plus Soul Eater is going to give me max cooldown. Oh. Mm. Oh, that hit me. All right. It would help if I hit my abilities. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, so to speak. Dude, look at that shit. One burst did 64, 88 plus 69. Kitty cat owning. Oh, what should my last item be? I'm I'm sure like obviously like I've been saying all game, bluestone would go crazy, but I can't get bluestone, so I'm just gonna go soul eater right now. And I'm not gonna go last item yet. Instead I'm just gonna get the healing thing, the Jotun's uh glyph. And now last item, anything that procs item effects. I like beat stick procs them technically. Rune Forge procs off of hard CCs. Oh, you know what? I could get I could get Flame Forged. It won't do a lot of damage, but it is a meme. It is a meme. I'm down. I'm I'm big in the memes. I missed. Cox. Dude, look at that damage. Wait, did they change Jotun's Vigor? Why did it just proc? Wait, what does it do now? If you drop below 60% health, gain 15 movement speed. Okay, that that's just bugged. It just procced right when I got in combat. Will it happen again? No. It only happens when you get in combat with a god. Surely that is not correct. Surely that's an error. Yeah, no, because it just procced again. Ah! That scared me. Oh, you're dead. Oh, beads. Nice. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Dead to item effects? Excuse me? Oh, dead to my two. My god, look at that. Heartseeker did 313. Pressure did 184. Duality did 91. I did 600 damage with my item effects. And I can attribute pro at least 250 of that to duality. If you add in the actual duality damage of it. That's insanity. I do need 200 more gold. To finish my flame forge because the meme is calling. Oh, Rude is considered a hard CC, right? Because it gets rid of Nem Shield. I mean, it used to. I don't know if it still does. Ah, we'll see. Burning for 10 plus 8% of your protections is magic damage. I have no protections. <laughs> I am a full damage build, but I'm all about it, baby. Can't stop the memes. Check this out. No stun. Oh, I tried to blink, but it went into Phoenix. Hold on. Ooh, it worked. <laughs> oh my God. 
That damage is so fucking stupid, bro. Oop. 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 Oh, man. It's... It's... It's smite, baby. That's what it is. It's smite. Oop. Wait, I can trigger... What am I triggering? What item effect? Oh, Crusher. I'm triggering Crusher with my duality. I'm triggering Crusher with my duality and all my abilities on the Titan. I mean, that... I I said... I said what I said, you know? It would be the most broken one because the build is so natural in its development. You don't actually have to meme in order to build it. Um, you know, like in a real, like, let's say I'm in a real conquest game. I'm going bluestone, Jotun's, like duality. No, duality needs to be built after your, um, it needs to be after your item effect thing. So you're going to go bluestone, Jotun's, like crusher, heartseeker, duality, and then like whatever item you want. You could even just go like Bluestone, Jotun's, Heartseeker, or uh, Bluestone, Jotun's, Soul Eater, Heartseeker, Crusher, Duality, and just do like so much damage. Oh my God. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.